No matter what the style, the snare drum is the focal point of any drum set. Capturing the snare is the most important aspect of a good drum sound, and perhaps the trickiest. On the stage or in the studio, the snare is usually captured by two mics, one above, one below. Most of the sound comes from the top mic, which is usually a dynamic instrument mic like this ATM650. The bottom mic is either a condenser that can handle the high SPL or another dynamic. Here we're using an ATM450 condenser to add high end snap from the snares. Depending on the setup, the snare mic is usually positioned between the hi-hat and the first rack tom. This minimizes bleed while keeping it out of the drummer's way. Positioning the mic closer to the head will also minimize bleed from the rest of the kit. As the mic gets close, however, the low end frequencies will be exaggerated and the drum will sound darker and less open as a result. Angling the mic down towards the edge of the drum will emphasize the overtones. While angling it towards the center of the drum will emphasize the attack. For a drier sound with less ring, move the mic outside of the rim. The bottom mic can be placed directly under the snares, close enough to minimize bleed but not so close that the snares make contact with the mic. As the top head is struck and moves away from the top mic, the bottom head is pushed toward the bottom mic by the air column within the drum. This creates waveforms that are 180 degrees out of phase between the two mics. For this reason, the bottom mic needs to be flipped out of phase at the preamp. If the mic is a condenser, you'll want the pad engaged. If it features a high pass filter, you can use this to keep out low end leakage from the kick drum as well. Adding a little bottom mic can add snap and brightness without needing lots of EQ. If you're recording a style that has a more nuanced approach to the snare, say straight ahead jazz, then a single condenser on top may be the way to go. Here we have an AE3000. This will give us a brighter, more open snare sound than a dynamic, but with the pad on can still handle the SPL of a snare drum. With these techniques, you can achieve any snare sound you're looking for. On the stage or in the studio, Audio-Technica has you covered.